The Mayor's River Green Fest is the City of Tampa's official annual St. Patrick's Day event that takes place in beautiful Curtis Hickson Waterfront Park. We currently have an Irish Mayor, Bob Buckcorn, who is seeing to it that all Tampa residents take in on the festivities. It's an amazing day. Um, I love this. I love the opportunity to showcase downtown, and I love turning that river green. You know, we celebrate Festa Italiana, we celebrate Puerto Rican Day. This is an opportunity for those of us of Irish descent to celebrate St. Patrick's Day, and more importantly, to bring another event downtown to uh, showcase this amazing river. This is a, an event that's attracting national attention. Uh, that river is greener than any river in St. on St. Patrick's Day across the country. And plus, you know, there'll be thousands of people down here enjoying a beautiful day in downtown Tampa. We got some great food trucks here. We got some craft beer guys here. Um, but I do love turning that river green. I do. That, that's fun. And what brings you to this event today? Wait, the river green? Who could be missing on a day like this? The sun is shining, the breezes are blowing, and soon the majestic Hillsborough River will be as green as my tie, thanks to his honor, Mayor Bob Buckhorn. Are you of Irish descent? Then? Indeed, I am proud to be saying that. And of course, on a day like this, everyone is either of Irish descent or wishes they were. Are those your pot of gold? Well, those are for the cabbage toss later on. Oh, it'll be a lot of fun. People hurling the cabbages. And of course, on many a St. Patrick's Day, I even ended up hurling me cabbages, but that's another story. The main event of this celebration is the magical transformation of the Hillsborough River to a bright shade of Kelly Green, which provides the perfect scenery for the live entertainment, food trucks, games, and more. All right, well, we dye the river from the Kennedy Boulevard Bridge all the way to the Cass Street Bridge. And um, we just um, use a, a tube to put the dye down into. And then we stir it up with a couple boats behind that. And um, we just keep trying to stay ahead of the tide. Because right now it's an incoming tide. So we uh, dye the river around the Kennedy Bridge and let the tide do the rest of the work. The dye is um, non-toxic to aquatic life and it's biodegradable. And um, it's, uh, it's safe uh, and it's used for uh, plumber's dye or in potable water. So uh, it's also used as a tracer dive for emergency rescue out, out at sea. The Tampa is bigger and better. We're uh, three times the size of Chicago's river and we're tidally influenced. So we have to keep at it all day long. So it makes it a lot more difficult. So uh, we think we're number one. I live downtown, so I live at Sky Point. So we've been here for the past three years when the mayor turned the river green. Every year it's been amazing day, perfect weather. And this is the first year I did the hair though. So, you know, it is a little warm for it, but I mean, it's nice to be outside and everybody enjoying themselves. It's just having fun outside with your friends. So, I mean, these are people here I'm with and we're just enjoying it. And it's good to have it on a weekend instead of like a midweek St. Patrick's Day when you can't really have fun. This day long festival celebrating all things Irish is the perfect outing for family and pets. Admission is free, although attendees are encouraged in the spirit of St. Patrick to bring food items to donate. Reporting for Spotlight Tampa, I'm Kelly Gonzalez and happy St. Patrick's Day.